Well, I think there's going to be a burp in this video. I don't know if I should do that. <laughs> All right, so I'm floating my gingerbread, corner load, and I'm going to go all around the edges. So each each thing you can do kind of each um, head, each arm, each. It's kind of neat because there's, you know, you can just swirl it around. Am I in the shot? So for his head. And then you stop. And I'm going to turn, get a little more paint, and go into this arm. And stop. So it's kind of, I don't know, I like to do these. I like floating in general, and I think it's a matter of it's not frustrating because I know people hate to float. And guess what, folks? This whole piece is floated. So this style of painting, if you just can't master floating, it's, it's not going to be fun. It's just not. You're going to be frustrated and struggling, and that's why I like, I like to share what I know because I do love it. I absolutely love it. It's not hard. It's, you know, it's trial and error. I mean, you have some that mess up, but it doesn't, you know, it's not making me upset. So he has little burned edges type thing. Looks so cute. See, the artists that create these, they have to decide what color to use and all that. So there is a lot to it. And I love that they just tell me what color to use and, and I get the result that they designed for me. So I am so thankful for this type of painting. Um, I mean, I'm an artist, but not in the way that they are. I'm not... I don't know what, what I like to say. I like to say, um, I don't know you guys. You guys could probably come up with some comments to help me. I'm a great teacher. I know that. I know how to tell you how to do this. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so I've taken classes with the people who create these pieces and they can't tell me how they do it because they're not teachers. They're artists you know so maybe I'm um, more of a teacher <clears throat> when you get down to it you know um, because creating this is not what I do I, I don't have this in my head to sit and and just design this that's not what I do that's why I love Renee thank you Renee <laughs> she's awesome though to give us these patterns for free I have, right now I have three of them, and I think there's more on there. I've painted the ornament, the snowman plaque, and this. For free, I have her books. I have like several of her books. She has lots of books. Um, I have pattern packets. I've bought kits from her and because she, she sells the wood as well. She has a great website. It's really, really um, well done, easy to navigate. And her prices are great, everything. Um, so I would recommend her awesomeness. Her designs are sweet though. She has a very, it's a cutesy, um, cutesy style, but not too cutesy. Sometimes I don't like um, people's artwork. I just, it doesn't catch my eye. It doesn't appeal to me, but it'll appeal to someone. I mean, you know, that's to each his own, so. All right, a lot of talk in there, but look, they're looking bakedy, aren't they? They're looking cookie-like. I like them. The next thing you do is the icing. So we're gonna get that script liner and get it nice and inky, this buttermilk paint. And that means I want this, not a wash, because a wash is more water than paint, but a nice wet water, I'm um, sorry, watery paint. That's the consistency of ink. And we're going to paint little icing around his arms, I think. Mostly, okay, I know where to put it. And it's just gently with the tip of your brush. Put little icing swirls on the ends 
of his feet and his arms. Hopefully I'm in the shot. Yes. And then his head, it's kind of like hair. I'll show you. I like how she did this. Just along the top of his head. I don't make gingerbread um, cookies. So that's one. And do that for all three. You can make it thick, thin, and swirly. So if you make gingerbread cookies, you know how to design your guy. There's a, a Q-tip under there. Um, and you can, you know what? You can do this any way you want. You can, they're your gingerbread men. You can put your signature on it, you know? Um, I happen to like Renee's rendition. So that's what I mean. Like if I wanted to change it because something was bugging me about it, I would. And so can you. So. And like the thick thin on here is kind of cool because with icing it would be. It wouldn't be a perfectly straight line or um, even line. It would be a little gloppy in places possibly, you know. It's nice when you can use that as your excuse <laughs> for a little bit of a sloppy line. So there's your icing. And the next thing is he needs this little bow, I think. Let's see. Oh, we, they want us to put his... Um, Okay, so with the black, we're going to dot the eyes and put buttons down the front. Yeah, I did my bows first on mine, and I didn't have room for the, um, see how my two little guys don't have any buttons because I made my bows so big. I only had room for buttons on my middle guy. So, and you know what? I think we're going to connect them with the green first because I'll tell you why. Let's see what the green color is. Paint the ribbon holding them together with avocado. Because I like to put, there's a little black dot that holds them together. I'll show you on mine. And I put the dot on top of the green. So it looks good like that. So that's just why I'm doing it. And you're going to get this just like we did the white just now. Nice and inky with your script liner again. And it's kind of, you can make this thick, thin, or a little fatter because it is supposed to be like a ribbon or a twine. Probably let's go with the twine theory. I'm going to look at my um, drawing here and follow that because I like, again, I tell you, I like how Renee has hers. So I'm going to follow that little drawing. And they're kind of right in the center, swoop down and connect them. Hopefully you can see me. Swoop down and connect. And that, that was crooked, but it's okay. Then the ends have this little swirl. So I'm going to really get that nice and wet like ink. And swirls are interesting. You, it, you sometimes do them in two steps. I do anyway. I'm going to put it... You can start here or you can start at the end of the swirl. I'm going to start at the end and then I'm going to come back and connect. That's just how I do it. And if you trace it on there, you might have an even better um, guideline. But that's, it works for me. It's going to look cute. Don't worry. It's one little part of this whole picture. So don't stress over that. Um, again, I'm going to make this part of the swirly and connect it. And then come in and connect it. Fix that part. It's good. So he's connected. Now when we put our black dots, and really I don't want to. The reason I like to always leave my dots for last is because I put my hand in them. All right, be right back. So you know what I've decided to do? I'm going to do it with my brush. Because if we use a stylus, they look very round. You get the consistency you want. But a brush can make a nice little um, dot as well, and it won't take any time to dry. It'll dry much quicker. I'm using, actually, this is like that number one round, and I'm going to get some paint. And she just has three little, or actually, the little guys have two buttons, and the big guy has three buttons. 
and then they have two eyes. So just take that, load your brush, and just gently, let me see where his eyes are, kind of close together. Yeah, they'll dry fast. And then his buttons kind of start here. They're just little. See, that's okay. I like little details, though. They're, they just, as long as I'm in the shot. Only two on the little guy. And those will be dry, so I don't have to worry about putting my hand in it. And two for that. And now we're going to do our bow. And that's done with um, French gray blue, is it? Where did I put it? I thought I took it out and put it aside. Oh my gosh, I thought I tried. Here it is. It's a pretty blue. You could do them green because there's no blue on the piece anywhere else, but I liked it in blue. And I just winged it. I didn't trace anything and I just made my little bows the best I could. So let's take a look at Renee's. Hers are tiny and she did, this one's kind of off to the side. This one's in the middle and this one's off to the side. So the two little guys have it off to the side and this is in the center. So I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> I didn't look at it, I guess, the first time I just did it my own way, which is fine. It looks great. So I'm going to get a little bit of this on my palette. And you want this nice and wet with your script liner. I'm just cleaning my other brushes that I leave in the water. You'll end up with brushes all in your water bucket. That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna get my script liner. That's my longer um, bristle brush and make a little puddle. So I'm coming over here. I have water dripping off my brush and I just put it in there and mix it around because we really want this to be able to make a bow. And usually what I do when I make a bow, I make like the, the neck part, the knot, and then just a little like that. And then when I do the the bottom part, the hang down, I push down and like squiggle it up like that. And that's like the easiest way I can make a bow. I'm gonna try, like I said, to do it how Renee did it and put it on the side and on the side. So this guy, I'm gonna pull it across. Do that first. And it's not very thick. I mean, you could use a little thicker brush. And I'm going to put a little knot. Just put a little bow over here. These are much more delicate than my other one. My other ones were big. But that looks cute. Just a little extra. It's just a detail. A little added detail. And... It's not necessarily got to be something that is very noticeable or important. It's just a little extra added color. Cute. I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to make this one over here. Turn your piece so that you can, you know, get that to be how you want it. That was kind of sticky. But if it's ribbon or twine, it's going to be thick, thin, twisting in the breeze. So that's okay. I like it. Is that it? Are we done? Let's see. Paint the ribbon holding it together and then dot the holes on the hands with lamp black. And I think we're done. Um, finish. Erase any transfer lines with a kneaded eraser and lightly spray with a coat of sealer or finisher. With lamp black, lightly spatter your painted surface. Oh, and spray with an extra coat of the sealer. See, I didn't, I kind of could tell that it was spattered. If you look at the white, I thought I spattered, oh, oh that is the paint. I thought I spattered the piece with my spray, but you see the little black dots? Can you see that? I like spattering, but you know what? We're not going to do it. <laughs> We're not because 
I just wanted to do a beginner piece and it doesn't need it. It's just, again, another extra added for effect. We're going to dip dot these little to connect them. And I am going to use my stylus now because we are done. I'm going to take my ball dot thing, dip it in the black, and go right over where the green connects each little guy. That one's kind of small. I'll go back. And one more. Done. They are bigger than I wanted, but that's okay. Super cute. I come back out. And I haven't decided how I'm going to hang this. I think I'm going to have to um, put a hole. Oh, I know. I'm going to use a... Oh, what are they called? An eye screw and put it up because the wood is thick enough, definitely. I thought I had one like right here in my little um, thing. But I am going to use an eye screw and put an eye screw in here. And that way I can put a ribbon and it won't interfere with my pom pom because I'm going to put the um, snow tech one here. I might as well grab it. Um, no, you know what? I think I want to varnish first and then I'll use the snow tech. All right, guys. Oh, you know what? We got to sign it. You got to sign it. I'm taking my script liner and some black paint. I'm getting it real wet and inky. And I just paint like this. I'm going to move this over so I can I'll zoom in too. Kind of right here. I could put it up here so it's not as noticeable. Where should I put it? I'm going to put it right here. S A R a and I, I'm gonna put the year 2014 and that's it um, <clears throat> I hope you like this tutorial I'll come back and give you a finished look at it like after I have it all varnished and ready to go but um, leave any comments or questions and happy painting all right you guys thanks for watching